Thanks so much for taking a few minutes to watch this video. I hope things are going well for you, even in the midst of these difficult times. I'm Bob Thomas from Community Alliance Church, and I want to just take a few minutes and share a few things with you. I'm certain that many of you are facing a, a reality that you never dreamed of just, just a few days ago, perhaps financial hardship. Perhaps you have children at school and you're wondering about their educational future. I think all of us are wondering what might happen next. How long will this last? And I'm confident that with the Lord, we'll get through this together. That togetherness was really evident this last week at Community Alliance Church. I was so proud of the elders and the entire CAC staff as they responded so well to this crisis. I saw the team in, in a very real way uh, exhibit teamwork, show care and compassion, and never show any panic at all. These are certainly stressful times. Our plans keep changing, but the elders and Denny have provided great leadership. And I just want to say, it's a privilege for me to be a part of this team here at CAC. It's also been a huge encouragement for us that as we've reached out to many of you, you've asked us, how can we help? How can we meet the needs of our congregation? How can we meet the needs of our community? It's been a reminder just again and again that CAC is not a building. It's you reaching out to one another to serve and care for one another. Thank you for being God's people in such a tumultuous time. You know, God's word is always a source of encouragement and peace. But in times like this, when it seems like social media and, and the, the broadcast news is just sounding one alarm after the other, isn't it good to know that God's word is truth that we can count on and a source from which we can draw strength? As I read this morning, God reminded me from his word of the story of the Israelites as they were ready to go into the promised land. They sent out 12 spies, you may know the story, to, to check out the land. If you don't know the story, you can find it in Numbers 13. I'd encourage you to read it. Ten of the spies went into the land and they saw that it was, it was good, it was amazing, it was a bountiful land, but it also had some, some very real problems. The truth is the, the giants in the land and the, the strong enemies in the land, they, they were problems that weren't easily overcome and the ten spies focused on those things. It was a very real threat, a very real difficult time for them. You know, that's true for us right now. The coronavirus is a very real threat. It's very legitimate. We don't want to minimize that at all. There's a, there's a lot of hardship because of that, and that might increase. Again, we don't want to minimize that. We understand it. If you know the story, you know that two of the spies saw the, the same strong enemies and the, the same threats that the other spies saw, but they were able to look past those particular difficulties and place their trust in the Lord. Caleb and Joshua knew very clearly that there was no way that on their own they were going to solve the problem. There was no way that they could develop a plan to, to conquer those enemies. And that's true for us as well. It's important to have a plan. It's important to follow the, the direction of our government officials. Absolutely. But we can never trust in a plan. We can never trust in ourselves. We can certainly never trust in our government officials. We must always, always trust in the Lord. I want you to know that the Lord is always trustworthy. I'm certain that many of you already know that. You probably already know as well that our trust in Him, however, is often imperfect. It's incomplete. And the reason is because we're imperfect. That makes sense. I, I want to encourage you that during this time, you may experience anxiety and worry. That's very normal. It's understandable. But I also want to encourage you and challenge you that when worry comes, when anxiety comes, would you go to the Lord and pray? Would you ask him to take away this anxiety, this worry? Would you ask him to strengthen your faith? Would you ask him to enable you to trust him fully? 
He'll do that if you ask. You know, 1 Peter 5, 7 makes very clear. It says, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. God loves you. Isn't that amazing? It's so true. I praise God for it. I want to thank you again for taking the time to just watch this video briefly. When we can't be together physically, we want to do all we can to share God's word with you and encourage you and to help you encourage one another. I also want to encourage you to look at the links below in the description section of this video. If you haven't already and you're able to, like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram. That'll be a big help to you to be able to keep up with the announcements that are coming out. It'll also enable you to keep up with these video logs that we'll be sharing with you. Lastly, I, I want to remind you that it, if you have a need, if you need some groceries, or you need someone to pray with you, or you just want to talk with someone, or you know someone who needs those things, would you reach out to us? Call the church office. Let us know. We'll be in touch with you. We'll be in touch with that person who needs help. I also want to remind you, it's an amazing time to continue to reach out to those that you care for, those that you love, those that you know. Just call. Check in on them. To be honest with you, I'm excited to see how God is going to meet the needs of His people. We love you. I love you. We so miss being together. But I want to encourage you, until we can be together, keep praying and keep trusting the Lord. See you soon.